Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to another video of Dyson Sphere Program. Alright, yeah, we can run with that. So I've got Conveyor Belt Mark 2. I've got, uh, I need to have the magnetic thing to join in. I'm not making those yet, so we're just going with this one. You're going to go out to that point right there. And then we're going to go with a belt that's going to go here. It's going to go up to that point. And then I'm going to have a belt that's going to go from here and it's going to go up to that point. I'm going to go this way and I'm going to put a splitter in here. Uh, here like this. That one's going to drop down there and then we can take belt. That's going to go in there like that and it's going to go out to that one and it's going to go out to that one and in onto there like that and then we're going to take these standard slow speed sorters they're going to run out like that i can go over you so now do i uh, shift copy i don't want to shift copy if i click on that one right i copy here yeah, and then I just I mouse over and I press the other little arrow key and that's now pasted out onto these which is giving me much the same kind of results that I had previously. So I want to be able to bring the new materials into both of these tanks. So I've essentially got these tanks in the wrong place. I should have thought about this. Well, I, I, it, maybe I should have, maybe I shouldn't have. Doesn't really matter, I don't think. I'm going to bring this one here. He's going to go out. Actually, he doesn't do that. He goes from here. So this one is going to go... Where's the best place to do this? Uh, oh, I can come out from the side over here. Right, that's handy. So I can put a belt there. And that belt is just going to go around onto there like that and then I'm going to have another belt and that one's going to come out this way like this and we're going to stop there and then I'm going to have a belt that's going to go here as well and it's going to go out to that side like that and then it's going to come uh, this way it's going to go up by one I'll bring you over here like that yeah I don't want you to do that uh, th th this is possibly going to be a bit tricky, is it? Are you going to be difficult about this? You shouldn't be. I want to bring you over to that point, and then I want to lower you back down again. So you've got to... Oh, I see. Right. You you've got to do that. But he doesn't like this being in the air bit. The end point must be horizontal, but he doesn't join into that bit down there. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to bring that one back. I need to bring it to that point, and then I can lower it down, and it can join in here like this. And that's where it can connect in. So everything will connect in, and it will join in, come in on around to there, just like that. So then I want to go to the sorter, and I want to shift-click that one. And I want that one to come out onto the... I mean it's too close great well that's just great okay fine i will get rid of that one i'll get rid of that one and i'll get rid of those as well and then we'll go back to logistics so that's too close so it's got to come out over to here like this and it's got to join into that belt there and then you over here you end point must be horizontal so you got to Oh. Right, it doesn't like that. I've got to get rid of that one, and i got to get rid of that one, and that one up there. And then I should be able to join these two in. There, yeah, like that. Right. Now I've got the right wiggle on, and then I can go down here. No, I don't want to do that either. I want to go in here and sorter mark one. I want to shift copy that one go from here and bring that one out and it's got a filter on there 
So it should have a filter selected. or Yes, it has automatically got a filter selected. So that one's going to be the same. And that one's also going to have a filter selected. Then we will take a belt from here. And that one's going to go out like that. The same as this one did over this side. And I'll take you. And I will shift copy that one. Core energy will deplete, please. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that in a sec. You have to wait a minute. I don't want to bring you all the way out there. There, I want to put you back there. Like that. And you I want to put over there. Core energy. Yeah, of course. I went and, like, got these extra bits. Uh, I was looking at the fuel chamber, and then I didn't actually go and refuel, which was probably a bit daft. So, have I got any fuel here? Uh, actually, no, I'm not, I'm not going to worry about the fuel for a second. I'm just going to go with logistics. I'm, no, I don't want to bring it. I need to take it over to that one, don't I? So, we're going to go you here. I've got no energy. Oh, I know what I can do. Uh, a wireless power tower. Not enough items. You should be able to make one. Yes, I can. Right. Build a wireless power tower. I don't have to run anywhere. I can just plonk one down here. I can use that to recharge. And then I'll go and get fuel in a minute. Once I've gone and built this one. So we'll just bring that one out over this side a little bit. I'll put one down here somewhere. Uh, we'll probably be glad of the power anyway. How long before you're ready? See, at the moment, my power is running down because I'm still busy replicating this one. I've got to wait for those items to finish. Right, items are finished. I've got those built. We're going to go power, and we're going to take you, and we're going to drop you down there like that. And we're going to go and stand right next to you. And now you can see we're firing back up beautifully. So while I'm stood here and firing that one back up through this, I'm going to bring you out to that point there. And I'm going to bring you out to... Actually, we're going to go out a little bit further than that because it's just in case... I want to, like, come out of there and then step up over this belt. So I'll put you over to there, and then you can join into there, and then we will go from that one and join into there as well. So there's everything that I need in there. I've got full power over here, and then the belts are just going to head out over that side. I'm gaining a little bit of soil pile as those robots rush off and do it. Up this way, I'm... It's not the red ones, the red energy matrices that I think that we need to be concerned about. I think the blue ones are running a little bit slow. I may need to go and do something with them. Right there, I've now got a big lot of hydrogen all running into the store. And these three are running mostly flat out. That one's not taking anything out, which is going to be a slight issue, isn't it? So if I just do that there... Oil refinery here. Yeah, he's got 39 in there to move out. So how was the belt too close? Seems to have to go along. It, it, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's, it's going to be able to keep up with everything that we're doing. The problem is going to be that we're going to have too much oil in here. And I need to be able to get rid of the oil out of that tank. Next, I want to run down this way. And what's... What's running slow in here? What's, what seems to be the problem? I've got ten of those. I don't have very many of these. These ones right here are the problem. So I'm looking in here. I'm making ten per minute. So they don't run in particularly fast. They don't run in particularly fast at all. I mean, the rest of it runs in, but those don't. This side over here, everything is running fast and true and doing everything that it needs to do on that side. So I need to put something up that have another one of them running. How fast do these make? We make 20 per minute in there. That takes... Right, it doesn't actually say in there. I need to have a look in here into the, the components right there. Have a look at that one. Three seconds to make one of those, six seconds to make one of those. So I basically need double the number of those that I do of these over this side in order to keep everything running. But I'm not sure I've got sufficient materials 
do be coming in to do that. I mean, I could try. I can definitely give it a good go. One, two. We will put in another couple of these. And you can stack these up pretty high, can't you? As far as I know, you can actually stack these up at a fairly decent height. So I just want to make sh uh, just to allow this to go and build. I'm going to want to go and get some coal. While I'm letting those... Actually, yes, that's probably a good idea. While I'm letting those build, let's go and fly over to... There's a coal store right there. Uh, let's land. Let's not land right on the ocean, shall we? And in here, one... Actually... Oh, no, I, uh, I can't, like, directly feed that in. Two, three, four, five of them, should we say... And then we'll go here, and we'll go one, two, three, four of those. And then there's a little bit extra. So now I've got a boatload of coal in here. And then I should also have the extra Matrix Labs over this side that I can go and plonk down. Probably a good idea if I get some more stone extractors working on this, I think. We might be glad of them soon. I don't, I don't quite know when we're going to be wanting those, but I, I've got a feeling that we might want them soon. So I put one on there and exceeds the height of Merck's, Merck's maximum, maximum vertical construction. Right, well, in which case, I'll leave it for a minute and I'll just have the two of them like this. Now, I've got a number of materials coming off of the belt right here and they are running through pretty quick. They'll fill up the lab right here and keep everything going in there. And in that one, you know, eventually it will put some hydrogen all the way up to the very top, up there. I don't know how long it's going to take before it gets up there with the hydrogen. In your own time, you've got 20 of these up here, but you've got no hydrogen coming in. Oh, it's because I've already got these. I, I loaded them... I loaded them crooked, didn't I? Right. Take that 20 out. And that should allow a more even feed. Yes. I've got an uneven feed of those. Right. Get rid of 10 more of them. There. Having an uneven feed is because I loaded them wrong. The data shows this is a planet without natural titanium veins. Perhaps you can get some by collecting gravel. If you need a massive titanium collection, you need to find a planet rich with titanium veins as soon as possible. Once again, we don't have everything we need, although it seems that we can make everything we want with stone. We use loads and loads of stone and we can make pretty much everything we want. So we've got a load of stone here. I think that's kind of what we want to be working on next then, is extracting more stone from here and then bringing it out. Now, I've got some glass production going on here, and I'm making a little bit of silicon in there, and I'm also... Did I start an enriched... I didn't start an enriched silicon. I have got that one going, but he's going very slowly. He's taking the stone in here, and he's, he's sort of making a little bit. So I'm, I'm making some stuff in there, but I haven't got the next levels of that, and we kind of want to do it. So I'm thinking that we need to get rid of this smelter, and more stone extraction going on with that vein right there, and then we can get some others and sort of bring them in a little bit later, and I'll set up a new smelting line over that way. I don't know if I'm going to need any more glass. I've got it going out there, just in case. So we'll start off by getting rid of that one. And we will get rid of that. And I'll get rid of that one. Right. So now I've got this in here. And I've got a few... Actually, you know what? I'm going to just lift that out. And then I'll build a whole new one. So I've got the materials at the moment. I'm holding them on me and then we can deal with the rest of the materials in a bit so first up let's go over this way and make sure that we've got all of this stone being extracted from this one patch right here i've got one more of these so what are you pressing uh press shift to ignore grid snapping and this is what i've been told is absolutely and always press shift and ignore grid snapping with the mining drills and then 
Like, use grid snapping for everything else, but just ignore it for the mining drills. So I'll bring you over here like this. Now, I can't put... Oh, I've, that's because I've got a lack of an item. So I want to go and build another couple of these. I've got sort of Mark three there, and we've got the belts. And we need to start making the upgraded belts, which is the components... I need that magnetic thing. Uh, my, well, if I make a micro crystalline component first, I'll make one of them just to see what it's like because I need to make uh, a couple of these. Is that going to unlock another? It's not unlocked anything at all. I've got an electric motor right there. That hasn't helped me in the slightest. So, how do I do this? I've. Is this? Is this the electromagnetic hand make replicator? So why hasn't it got it? Oh, it hasn't even got it. Um, required technology, magnetic levitation technology. Oh, it's because I haven't unlocked it yet. Right now, I get it. I haven't unlocked it yet. So if I go into here, that one coal goes into here, but it's not giving me a possibility to go and make that plastic. Well, I can make that one. I can, So I can go and make the plastic rods already. Plastic right there. Cannot make in a replicator. I need a chemical facility to do that one. And that is what is going to take my oil. So maybe I should be using that. I want to go and like get that started. That would be a good one to do. But, uh, no, not at the moment. Focus. Come on, Frith. You can do this. You can focus. You are capable of achieving a small amount of focus. I'm going to make two of those. And then we can get this stone extracting and start doing the stone stuff. And then I will go over there and we will start building something extra out that way in order to be able to start man manufacturing plastic. I want lots and lots of plastic. If I can, the more the merrier. You right over here. Press shift. So I uh, collides with another object at the moment. Right, uh rotate i gotta rotate all the way around then okay so i can put you there bring you in a bit i can go up there and i think that's covering all of the stone veins there right let me have a look that's covering all stone veins on there so we can then go back into this side and we're going to go and take a belt and we're going to run that belt out that's got to go over to that side, like that. It'll run tight to there, and then it'll go into that one. Just like that. It doesn't need anything more than that. It doesn't need to have any... Um, it doesn't need anything at all to make that work properly. It just needs to come out like that. Same as this one. That just needs to come out like that. It's going to go to here, and then it's going to join in on that side. It doesn't need any of the splitters, anything like that. Just needs everything to sort of run in together, and then it goes over to here. It goes along that one belt, which will run over here out to this side, where I can start making everything, can't I? I can do titanium with that pretty sure I can do titanium. If we go to components in here, so titanium ingots, that gives me, right, so I need titanium ore uh, gathered from titanium veins. It's got to be something to do with the smelter. High purity silicon in there. The silicon ore I make from stone. Research speed too slow. New tutorial. The Matrix Labs have connecting yada 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 yada. This will uh, only select the research mode. Once select research mode, the Matrix Labs will automatic research currently ongoing technology and all Matrix Labs share the same research progress. Each Matrix Lab consumes a basic research speed of 60 hashes per second. Only you put all the matrices required by this technology into the matrix lab will it actually start right well we're familiar with that it's and i know things is running a little bit slow but at the moment they are running and they're running from both directions it's just taking a little bit of time to do it and i'm fine with that i can just kind of leave that ticking over at the moment um i'm curious though about how i go about making this titanium 
I think it's actually this research that I'm doing right now. Go to T. Crystal smelting. No, that's not it. Diamond unlocks diamond. Goes into there. Silicon into crystal silicon. Right. Well, that's not what I'm after. Uh, smelting purification. Unlocks that one. Energetic graphite. I can't make the second recipe for the energetic graphite on there some reason so i don't know why that would be it says something else that we need to it could be something to do with this plasma basic chemical energy matrix magnetic levitation that's gonna unlock that one hydrogen fuel rods in here never mind that uh that unlocks x-ray cracking ah that's the one we need that's the second recipe for the one that we were looking at. Uh, polymers in here. Applied superconductors. Processors. Deuterium fractionation. I love this game. Seriously, everything I see about this game is just amazing. Superconductors. Now, so there's something in particular that I'm looking at. I want to know how I can say said something at titanium smelting right there. Now, I can turn the titanium ore into the high-strength titanium alloy. No. It said about turning gravel into titanium. And that's the bit that I'm hunting around for. I don't seem to have. So what do we got that we can turn gravel? Like I've, I've got there, I can get little bits of stone out of here. Gravel into titanium. Water pump, word extractor, mining machine. Well, it's just a regular mining machine, so it doesn't like do anything. I can put it down here, it doesn't give me anything at all. So there's nothing in there. Uh, get rid of that one. And... So there's nothing there that I've got with it. If I go here with an assembling machine and I plonk that one down, let's just go and have a look in here. I've got no microcrystallines. No, I don't want that. I've got prisms in there. Okay, so there's nothing in that machine that is going to do me any good at all. I then want to go and have a look at that one. So what have you got? Buildings components. I can smelt titanium ore into titanium ingots. I don't have this other recipe. I've got that one. And I got the first one of those. I'm genuinely at a loss. I, I don't really know. Um, somewhere. Like, it, it said something about the gravel. And I, I, I don't really know what that means about this, this whole gravel thing for... Being able to make the titanium. Um, so, yeah, I, I really don't know. Yeah, I I really don't know what is going on with that. I haven't got a clue. Um, we'll see what we can find out, naturally. But it might be that we're not really able to do anything else about it. Might be that we do actually have to get to another planet... Let me just bring that one back to there, like that, and then we'll lower you down. We may have to go to another planet in order to be able to get titanium. Um, which is a bit of a nuisance, I think. That, that is a little bit of a jolly nuisance. But, I mean, what I can do at the moment is I can at least, like, start doing some of these other bits. Um, will you stop with the research speed? I don't care about the research speed. I know it's going slow. I don't care. I've already read you. You don't need to keep flashing up at me constantly. Now then, we'll go over here. We will go power gathering. And I'm going to have that belt there. And I'm going to just put it out in a line. Going like that. Right. There, I've got... Oh, right, okay. We got crystal smelting done right there. Which means that I've got yet more items that I can go and make. If I look in here, we've got diamond right there. So I can turn graphite into diamond. Uh, the Yeah, graphite. I've got 
advanced diamond there. Find kimberlite ore and smelt directly. Right, well, I don't have any kimberlite ore. Uh, crystal silicon there. I can turn silicon. Crystal silicon has almost no crystal defects. Mainly used to make some ultra high precision optical instruments. Titanium right in there. Indispensable raw material for producing high strength um, materials. I have no titanium options right now. So we just have to hope that we don't need too much in the way of titanium. Next on the list, I want some more smelters. So I'm going to go there and I'm going to make five, ten smelters in there. Then I'm going to start building a line of them down here. I'm going to go right over there. And I'm going to put these in fairly tight together. We'll go like this. And I think we'll start off with a line of six of them. It doesn't need to be too drastic. Let's just wait for those little bits there to finish building. Uh, two, one, and then that one. Right, so I've got... There's one. There's another one. There's another one. And that is number six right there. Then I will go in here, logistics, and I'm just going to take the regular... Actually, no, I'm going to go with the faster ones. No, I won't. I'll go with the regular ones, because I think it takes quite a while to for each of these to actually make. So I can just go like this, and put one into each of them. And then I can go to you, and we can go to smelter. Titanium, I see I need titanium ore for that one to be able to work, so that one's just not an option. But what I can do is I can take silicon ore and I can have that one being made. And then I take this one right here and I copy it with uh, that one. Oh no. That way and then... Like this, by putting the arrow key down, the well, the, the, like the little bracket thing. Uh, basically, the full stop button is the paste, and the the comma button is the the um, the, the copy it. That's that's the, the the ones that we're looking at. And we can go in here, and we can go to you, and I can put one down there, and I can put one down there as well. Right. So that's got power onto all of them. And they're using power as well. So it's quickly chucking stuff in. And then I got all ten stone in there that I'm possibly going to want for it. And it's, it's sort of going to build up after a bit. Yeah, it's taking a little bit extra off at the end over there. But eventually it'll fill up the smelters. And then they will be running just fine. Uh, I'm going to take that one. I'm going to run it down to there like that. And I'm only going to bring it to there, like that. So we're not going to go very far with it. We will go to storage. We've got storage mark 2. I've got a bigger storage facility there. It's twice the capacity of storage mark 1, but needs steel to be made. Now, I can make one of them. I'm not going to worry about it just for a minute. I'm going to pop that one down there. I'm going to go into logistics and we're going to double click and we're going to make some more of these small Mark 1 sorters like that. Let's make 30 of them like that and then I can go back this way and I can start putting them out onto the belt here. Now we don't need any filters or anything like that on them so we can just plonk them out like this, and then that one, I actually want to bring that belt over a bit further. And the belt doesn't go right inside, but that should be enough. That one there should be enough to completely fill everything up. I've also got... Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. If you'd like to help support the channel, then please check out the affiliated links in the description down below. There's one for Nitrado, who supply gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. There's also Fanatical, who sell a lot of different computer games. If you use the link and also that code in the description, you will actually get a small discount applied to you, and I earn a commission on anything you buy, so you are supporting me by supporting your own gaming habit. If you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, 
Thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.